one. What most people will show you on YouTube how to create stickers is going to be this. They're going to go to graphics, they're going to click the first image they see, maybe change the colors, and then they're going to add a line, an outline, which is very easy to do. You can just go to glow, click it twice, and then we change the black into white, remove the blur, and increase the transparency and we can even increase the size a little bit so it looks like that and then they will remove the background of this and download this png and sell it as a sticker now the big problem with this is that it's actually somebody else's work and you can't do that canvas specifically says that you can sell these but you have to make changes for personal use that's fine but if you want to sell it you need to make more changes so for example if i click over here and i choose see more like this i can actually see this designer's work and you can choose her work if you want but you do have to make changes so in this video i want to show you how you can do the stickers legally and actually sell them on camera one way you can do this actually is go to let's type in coffee and then we choose frames and then over here you have plenty of options well plenty four options that you can use as a frame once you have that you can go to let's say paper and you can and you have more options here if you want but we're gonna go to photos and then we can change this bean into this for example and then you can sell that as a sticker again you can add the outline as i just showed you and download as a png but in this video i want to show you something more so for example let's say we have a coffee cup we're gonna go to graphics and then inside the graphics there's gonna be some graphics like this where it says edit image and you can't make any changes but there's also gonna be other graphics like this where you click on it and you can actually make changes you can change the colors you can do lots of things and that's what i want to share with you now not only can i change the colors of this but i can actually create a frame of this image so the way i would do that i would download this image so we're gonna download this as an svg file so choose svg and then choose transparent background and then just choose current page by the way if you want me to show you a video where you can create digital stickers on canva but use the free canva version leave a comment below i'm gonna add that too so we're gonna go to figma right now we're gonna delete this and we're gonna add this over here one thing i normally do is i remove the frame so basically I just select the image and move it outside the frame and we're just gonna delete that and then what we're gonna do next is we're gonna select the lines and we're gonna move them to the side but i'm holding the shift key to make sure that it's aligned and then i'm gonna add these as well and move them to the side as well and now we're, we can select these three and we're gonna go to fill click the plus sign and then choose image and now we can move this back up onto the cup and that's basically it so now this whole thing you can also try to move it in the middle by clicking horizontal center and now we're going to group this to group you can either click here and uh, choose group selection or use a shortcut and then let me move me a little bit we're going to export this as a pdf so export group one and that's it we're going to go back to stickers over here and move it over here to the main thing and here we're going to click on it once it's loaded and i'm going to show you what we did so we basically created a frame for ourselves so don't worry about this so this we will move to the back so position to back and then these we're going to delete them first so now as you can see i have a frame and i can change the colors of these we can go to elements and then we can type in paper let's say uh, go to photos and then over here i can change the colors of each individual thing so let's say this one is this and then let's say the back of the cup is this and here it is here we have our cup now all we have to do is choose all of them and send them to the back so we can see the lights and here our coffee cup is ready and as you can see this is very easy to create multiple cups and then we can add the text so for example we can uh, add heading just like that then i'm going to type in coffee you can choose any font you want 
and then we can do effects and make it curve so let's say i want to curve that way so that would be my coffee sticker and even more we can go to elements type in coffee icon and even add a little icon as well over here or let's say let's say this one and add it like that or let's say we want coffee bean so we can add that instead and i think i prefer that more of a minimalist look so here it is and this is the look one more thing i want to show you today is actually so let's say i typed in coffee and not every file you can uh, as i told you not every file you can edit so for example if i try to edit this it will say edit image one thing you can do is you can actually download this file as a png so we're gonna click here and we're gonna download and then we're gonna go to this website convert more files and then we're just gonna drag and drop and once we do that we're gonna choose svg so we're transferring png to svg click convert and then the magic happens so this file once we download it it's not gonna be a photo anymore it's gonna be a graphic so let's wait a little bit and basically once you download this is how it's gonna look like so i'm gonna upload it and i've done this before and it's just gonna have the lines but still very nice because now i can flip this i can color it if i want i can add uh, make it a different color so i can have these minimalist line art stickers very easily and with a couple of clicks i hope this video was useful thank you so much for watching and see you next time bye